What I would like you to do mm -hmm. is I would like you to simply play what you want, talk about it. I would love you to go into Fred McDowell's stuff. Okay. Uh, and, I, and, and if it were to include your genius and your understanding, and no, seriously, at the roots okay. of the music, because okay. because okay. that's definitely something that you know that I was... Right. That, I enjoy this guitar, it's very... Uh, it has a beautiful very sound. Very nice to play on it, yeah. Ah, now that's your slide. Yeah, I brought my slide. Yeah, let's see, because I also said not to use things for you, just in case. Well, thank you, it was very, very kind of you. Uh -huh. um, you know, I'm, I, you know, yeah. and I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too. So what I would like you to do is to, to pick a couple of Fred McDowell tunes. happens over the, you know, very small range. And it's kind of major and minor, it has a major sixth. So it's A, B, D are the first three notes. Right, with A, B, D, all but dissertation. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Goal! <laughs> so it's not, it looks like it's going to be... I see, right, I see. It's so, you're actually, so you're playing on, okay, go ahead, sorry. Mm -hmm. No, no, you say... It goes up to the, it goes up to the... The minor third, not the not. It doesn't complete the major pentatonic. It goes to the minor right. pentatonic. Whoa! Now you know I just learned something. Yeah, it was just. It's kind of like you know, it's the the minor third is uh, made through a, an upward slide. So it's you every time you do it, you do the, you repeat the two the mo movement from. Below the third fret to, to the, where the third fret is. Then, you, then the last time, then you go, then you do the reverse. I also, I also watched you 
play with the slider. Yeah, you, I, you I've bring your pinky down. Yeah, well. Sure, what's to make like to turn it into a, a G7? Uh. And you do the same thing. Da, 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 da. What I notice is, and something that I don't do properly, is that you're, it's very controlled. You're, you're just staying on that one fret, back and forth, going da 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 there's no, there's, you're not going very far, you're just staying right in that. In For sure, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's, a small, it's a small melody, right. it's a it's, small range. Right, melody. right, which, which is something that I think is certainly good for me to learn, because I'm always like flailing around. Is this a Fred McDowell tune? Yeah. So, did Fred McDowell was Fred McDowell uh, literate in music? Did he know how? Did he? Did he know? Would he call it a sixth and a seventh and a Pro double? Probably not. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, uh, I don't think he Do you know how he learned? Well, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know about that. I would like to know. I assume that he learned in uh, as you know, it's an oral mm -hmm. AU uh, mm -hmm. oral uh, in, in situation where where he. He sang in his church. There's a nice record of him singing. Yes, yes, I have that actually. Yeah. Amazing grace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he sang with uh, Napoleon Strickland and the Hemphill family, who were older uh, regional artists. Who played somewhat similar style, although he kind of took it to it's uh, a different place. So, yeah. mm. 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 I was he was definitely influenced by you know re recordings of you know of, of, you know Sun House and Rob Johnson. And, the electric blues musicians, and he played uh, My Baby Don't Stand on Cheating, which was, a, that was one of his pieces that was, uh, that was like an R&B hit, like around 1950. Okay. So we'll do that one, My Baby. Okay.
just, I, I also want to say that it makes mm -hmm. me really happy to be here. Oh, uh, it's you, great, great to see you. Yeah, no, no. I, I, was, uh, I look forward to seeing you every year, and it's, yeah, well, it's, one of the, it's one of the nice things about coming home. That you know? makes me happy. And um, also something which is very odd is that I never, I never noticed your eyes before. Well, I'm not wearing my glasses right now. I have contact lenses in. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, are they blue? I got a sunburn with the shape of the glasses. Yes, yes. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to do actually, that. Actually, suddenly I can take... see that. I think I can still see it. Yeah, it's better, but it's, uh, better. but I need yeah, to I take that. care of that stuff. <laughs> Very undignified. What you just did... <laughs> what you just did was... Okay, so what you just did was yes. essentially in the... the Blues, the minor pentatonic scale, right? Yeah, absolutely. And if you so, if you would show us in the world some of the minor pentatonic stuff, yeah, let's, let's, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So it's it's again, it's, we're, we're doing this. Thank we're God, treating it. Sim we're we're treating it similar to you know. Um, Willie Johnson kind of style that Fred McDowell does on some of his pieces. Can I tell you one thing, by the way, that's stayed with me? Sure. I remember the time when you told me that I didn't have to worry about the thumb anymore, that I, that I had it down, that I had it down. All right. One of the highlights of my life. Thumbs up. Thumb, baby. Thumb Go up. ahead, do it. Uh, okay, so, so no. uh, open D major. Uh, so the melody is. Second string, which is also the open. Yeah, string. so I'm starting with the uh, exactly. So you could start with that, but it's a little. Yeah, uh, you make juicier. it sound. It's a little what did you call it? Juicier. Juicier. Exactly. Juicier. No, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Hi, kids. There's more to come because Sensei has done some great work for us. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you so much.